Hello! Welcome to Getting Started with Enhanced Conversions for Web in the Google Ads API. I'm Laura Chevalier, a Developer Relations Engineer on the Google Ads API. In this video, I'll explain what Enhanced Conversions for Web are and why they're useful. I'll also introduce the prerequisites required to build your fully functional Enhanced Conversions for Web integration. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be notified about new videos. Enhanced conversions is a feature that can improve the accuracy of your conversion measurement and unlock more powerful bidding by supplementing the data provided by your existing conversion tags with hashed first-party conversion data. Enhanced conversions for web is for advertisers that want to improve the measurement of conversions that happened on a website specifically. It allows you to recover conversion types that aren't necessarily observable in certain browsers today. For instance, conversions based on video views or cross-device activity. Google Ads can use those recovered conversions to provide more accurate conversion reporting and better optimize your campaigns. You can upload enhanced conversions for web through the Google Tag, Google Tag Manager, or the Google Ads API. If you're already using the Google Tag or Google Tag Manager for conversion tracking, you can set up enhanced conversions for web with only slight changes to your configuration. Using the Google Ads API provides additional flexibility and control over your data and allows you to send first-party data from your database or CRM within 24 hours of the conversion. Let's see how this happens in practice. Let's say I operate an online store and I run Google Ads to drive purchases. I've set up a tag on my website that sends a conversion to Google Ads whenever someone converts, in this case by making a purchase. One of my customers, Nancy, views my ad on YouTube while signed in. Sometime later within my conversion window, she makes a purchase on my site, and as part of the purchase flow, I collect information attributing the purchase to Nancy. At the same time, the tag sends conversion information and an order ID to Google Ads. A separate process in my system then looks up information about Nancy in my company's first-party data sources, normalizes and hashes the data, and securely sends it to Google using the Google Ads API. With that additional information, Google Ads can map Nancy's engaged view on YouTube to the conversion on my site and reports the conversion for my campaign. In summary, the additional enhanced conversion data allowed Google to recover a video view conversion which might not have been observable otherwise, leading to improved conversion reporting that in turn improves bidding and campaign optimization. Now that we understand the overall flow, let's talk about the prerequisites to making it happen. First, Enhanced Conversions for Web requires making sure a conversion action of type web page exists within your Google Ads conversion customer. You might be wondering, what's my Google Ads conversion customer? This is the Google Ads account responsible for creating and managing conversions for the customer. It might be a Google Ads client account, or if you're using cross-account conversion tracking, a Google Ads manager account. You can verify which account is your Google Ads conversion customer by querying for the Google Ads conversion customer. Now that we know our Google Ads conversion customer ID, we can query that account to verify whether there is already a conversion action of type web page, and if so, whether it's enabled. If your Google Ads conversion customer doesn't yet have a web page conversion action, follow the instructions linked in the video description to create one. Second, you must accept the customer data terms for your Google Ads conversion customer. The Accepted Customer Data Terms field tells you whether this prerequisite is already met. If not, follow the instructions linked in the video description to accept the terms. Lastly, you must set up a conversion tracking tag on your website. As I mentioned earlier, the tag you configure on your website sends information about the conversion to Google Ads. The tag must be for the web page conversion action you created previously and must be set up to include the order ID, also known as the transaction ID. You can find instructions for this linked in the video description. Let's recap. Enhanced conversions for web in the Google Ads API lets you improve your conversion reporting by sending additional first-party user information to Google Ads. In order for this to work, you must Create a conversion action of type web page in your Google Ads conversion customer. Accept the customer data terms in your Google Ads conversion customer. And configure tagging on your website for the web page conversion action you created and ensure it's set up to include an order ID. That's everything for now. 
In later videos, we'll explore the implementation of enhanced conversions for web in more detail. If you found this video helpful, be sure to let us know with a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and see you later.